Just outside the walls of Jerusalem's old city lies the Cenacle, a place revered in both Jewish and Christian traditions. For the Christian faithful, this is the site of the Last Supper, where Jesus held a final meal with his apostles before his crucifixion. The lower level of the building is venerated in Jewish tradition as the tomb of King David. Despite its centuries-long history, the building still holds many mysteries, which researchers hope to unlock using 21st century technology. We manage to penetrate the ancient stones. We manage to reach every corner of the building. We manage to create 3D models of this wonderful and sanctified place. The Gothic-style room has changed hands numerous times throughout the ages. Archaeological, historical and artistic sources allude to the room being part of a synagogue and later a church and a mosque. It's been destroyed, rebuilt, damaged and restored throughout its storied history. A mosaic of architectural elements from different eras offer more confusion than clues to the building's origins and connection to history. Using advanced photographic techniques and laser imaging, researchers from Israel's Antiquities Authority and European research institutions have recreated the hall in extraordinary detail. With these electronic eyes, we got answers. We managed to understand the different phases of the building. We managed to get to answer who built it and when, but mostly, suddenly, with this advanced technology, the stones started to speak to us. And in ancient message, we managed to read it from the stones. Obscure artworks highlighted by the technology tell a theological story about the place, such as reliefs depicting a lamb, an emblem of Christ, and the lion symbol associated with King David. In a way I call it the Da Vinci dimension. It's an ancient code in the stones. It tells the story of this room. It's delivered the message of the last room. Christ as a Messiah, as a victorious, as a victim, and the lion, the lion, the lion is a symbol of the Davidic dynasty. They combine together in this room, in the story of this room, in the tradition concerning this room, the Last Supper room. While the building has not yet definitively been connected with its biblical backstories, the researchers say the technology provides new opportunities when studying archaeological sites. It opens incredibly new horizons. It, the potential is enormous. Uh, having the technology will allow us to focus. We, we cannot look at everything with the same degree of detail. It will allow us to focus our energy on things that matter. And perhaps further unlocking secrets of the past. <laughs>